Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to It is Friday. <laughs> there we go. I, I know what day it is this time. This time, probably the only time this week. <laughs> I have been working too much. <laughs> but hello everyone. Hello. Let me greet everyone. Hey, Dante, Weiwei, Luke, RJ. Diwari, Ai, Smovict, Hosan, Chrono, Luke, Fanuel. There we go. And it's not maintenance. <laughs> it's not maintenance. I was so scared because the first time, I think it was the first time, yeah, the first time I wanted to play this game on stream, I just happened to bump into, well, emergency maintenance it was not a scheduled maintenance it, it wasn't an, an emergency maintenance so i'm like oh god what if it happens again uh and now on the finale too today is the final stream of this game guys today we see the final part of this game and um for anyone who's like intrigued or interested in near or near enjoyer even uh, this is the very, very interesting part that uh, you might want to see. So, I hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, I know this chapter, I don't know the next chapter. The next one just came out today at 3 a.m. my time. Um, so, it's been 12 hours and I've avoided any kind of spoiler. I've only seen one single tweet, okay? And the tweet, w the tweet was... What the fuck was that? <laughs> And it sounds like something that's very near. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited to see what happens. I don't know what happens, but it's gonna be great. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the near day. Also, I noticed today. Wait, no, yesterday. <laughs> okay, yesterday, but today, basically. Okay, time zones. But basically, the patch coming out on the 28th of March, the 28th of each month, is near day in this game. So I noticed that, and that's pretty cool. They probably did that on purpose. I hope they did that on purpose. Can we read that? No, we cannot. Uh, but yeah, we've got to the... Hey, it's all near Automata part last time, and we're currently running around with 10H, who is on the moon, and has the task of protecting the last data that is left of humanity. And that's basically what the cage is. Also, this is very... This is like the hacking minigames in Automata. And... Stop! Stop running! We need the apples. <laughs> I can't miss anything again in this game or I'm gonna go insane. It's not like we need them, but... I also got a bajillion gifts. I'm not even looking at them, but everything is red and it's giving me the urge to click on stuff because I can't leave stuff alone when it's so shiny and red. More enemy interference. I handle this one. I wouldn't want the siblings to have to do all the work. Be playing as 10 8 Oshima? Begin battle? Ah, oh, We do! We get to play as 10H. Oh yeah, I wanted to boost her to put her in my team, didn't I? I completely forgot about that. Oops. Ay. Maybe I can put her in my team still. Ready to get your brain melted? Same. <laughs> Nothing like some brain melting on Friday, right? That's what the weekend is for after all. Let's go. Go, go, you're a girl. <laughs> She's so pretty. I love her. And she's she's like so sassy. I like that. I've only had her for like 10 minutes, but if anything happened to her, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. <laughs> uh, on Tuesday, people threw a ball into your eye? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also, oh, I brought fruit tea today, but I don't know if it's ready yet, so I haven't poured anything. It's kind of disappointing. 
But I have water. I hope you brought some drinks and maybe some snacks. And I swear, I promise everyone, I'm not gonna... I think I will regret saying this, but I, I will try not to forget stretch and hydrate today, okay? <laughs> I've been getting worse and worse with that, haven't I? Is this what happens to a streamer? This was... Oh my god. You can't see it, but... <laughs> Right, Mia's is live too. I can see one shot popping up in the corner of my screen. I haven't played one shot yet. I should play that too. I've only heard like very good things about it and that it's like super emotional, but I haven't gotten around to it, even though I own the game. But yeah, uh, I will try to remember to stretch and hydrate. It's it's like what happens to you as a streamer. You forget, you forget to drink, you forget to eat. You turn into a shrimp, and that's how it ends. <laughs> is it a bit quieter than usual? I feel like the music in this part is a little bit quieter than usual. But the dialogue should still be the same. Let me know if like the volume is too quiet. It should be fine though. Soon as <laughs> evolving into dry shrimp. I might be. I may not be built for battle, but I can hold my own now and then. Hell yeah, girl, you go. Right, age is for healer. She's a healer unit, so she wouldn't usually go into battle. Audio is fine? Okay. Okay, okay, thank you. I hope it stays that way. Games sometimes do this super funny thing, where it's like everything is somewhat balanced and then you have this one soundtrack that just absolutely fucking blasts your ears. Oh, what is that? I feel like I'm supposed to recognize something or wonder about, you know, the sign here. But I don't think I... I don't remember if I've ever seen that before. Hey, Amethyst! Oh shit! What in the world? I know this is sudden, but I had Mama take my place. You can do that? <laughs> do you have a moment? Ina. Sure. Walk with me and let's talk. Let's chat even. What I saw in that gallery was supposed to be the history of Tokyo, right? Right, the dragon falling from the sky. But it looked more like something out of a sci-fi movie. Hina's Tokyo is relatively normal. Well, about that, how do I put this? Probably with words. <laughs> that world's timeline was ever so slightly different from yours, and it eventually met its end. I guess you can think of it like a parallel universe. So the Tokyo my brother and I called home is still safe and sound, right? But that timeline didn't in end, did it? Yeah, but if the cage is destroyed, your world will vanish without a trace as well. And that's why I need your help. I mean, technically that timeline leads into this, right? Unless it's one of the... There's like a silly thing with timelines where some of them are only like super slightly different but they end in like absolute destruction <laughs> and being sealed off. Even though not that much is different. Poor you, he just gets to be the orb. <laughs> he, he's not allowed to be here. Uh... Orbital satellite base, I cannot read the rest, it's way too dark. Where are we now? You ready guys? Did you get your notebooks? It's history lesson time! What appeared before the siblings is a pale aberration similar to the mamas. I've been waiting for you. It offers to guide them through the facility. 
Why is that corrupting the satellite? It adds that all of humanity history was laid to rest here after the white disease spread. This way, please. <laughs> Let me copy yours later, Sin. But I'm judging the test! What's going on? Ew, oh yeah, about that. Uh, those statues are kind of creepy. Allow me to explain. Okay, so last time, quick recap. Uh, last time the first section was kind of an introduction to like the near lore. We're kind of going through an exhibition that's like sharing the lore of the previous games. But it started with uh, a joke ending of the original Dragon Guard ending with, you know, the protagonist trying to kill the queen beast who's trying to destroy the world through song by teleporting her and them into another universe kinda to save their world and uh, they land in fucking tokyo <laughs> and then uh angelus gets shot down by the army and the corpse lands on top of tokyo tower and then starts disintegrating into particles which then also caused this disease. There they see statues of soldiers weeding blades against the monsters born from the white disease. The white chlorination syndrome. Calling themselves crusaders, the soldiers battle the red-eyed monsters in the name of humanity's continued existence. Yeah, that caused a real mess, yeah. Groups of young, young boys and girls were conscripted as army soldiers. They shoulder a great cause and are sent to fight an eternal war. I don't know those two! Would you look at that? What? But that's us! Oh, it's in like, you know those those rides where you go through like caves and they have like puppets moving around? <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. So in this, like in the technically real timeline... Damn, more legion. How long are we supposed to keep this up? I'm tired of people getting hurt. I want to make sure we're all safe. So in our timeline, technically, Hina and you are fighting the Legion. Only I had my sister's strength. No, I can't protect Yuzu like this. Mean! But yeah, um, what you can take note of from this story is... Don't shoot dragons! <laughs> don't, don't shoot dragons! You might kill humanity! <laughs> okay, can we talk about how cool they look though? Oh shit, are they about to die? Hina has like no health. See that sliver there? Okay, they did it. They look so cool in that outfit. <laughs> I'm great? We took part in the fighting? The soldiers are injured and exhausted, and many will never see home again. Oh, you don't even know. <laughs> Everyone was in so much pain. Please continue on ahead. If you had to recommend a song, which one would you recommend? Oh, fitting to the stream! Have you ever listened to This Silence is Mine? From Drakengard 3? What's this display? Oh my god! Humanity came up with countless ideas to escape the white disease. Okay, here we fucking go. Are you guys ready? If you know this book, you know. Oh my god. It's your boy's outfit. And it's the man, the legend, Grimoire Weiss. Okay, these are props from like just straight up near replicant.
Oh, that's a shade. They look kind of silly like that. Oh, actually, in like Final Fantasy XIV, on the moon of all things, there are monsters that kind of look like shades too. I thought that was really cool. But mayhem, I should not talk about Final Fantasy XIV, otherwise I will just nerd out the entire goddamn stream. <laughs> With Project Gestalt, a technology capable of separating body and soul was developed to keep the disease's progress in check. We talked a little bit about this last time. And then it all went fucking wrong. It's the girl's staffs. With Project Observation and Supervision, the separated bodies and souls were kept under strict safeguarding in multiple locations. And then the bodies grew consciousness of their own and the souls couldn't return and then humanity fucking died. With the Grim One Noir project, once the white disease was eradicated, bodies and souls would once again be reunited. Or so, that was their plan. This was humanity's plan. I just I <laughs> the guide <laughs> tries to start speaking. I fucking sprint in from the side of the corridor. Actually, this is the stuff that happened and the and the guy just looks at me and he's like he gets fucking depressed because I just take away his entire job. Daga. No matter how hard humanity resisted, its fate of extinction was inevitable. The Crusaders warred against the red-eyed monsters, and they used technology akin to magic to combat the white disease. Magic which they also harvested from the dragon's particles. Regardless, it all proved fruitless in preventing humanity's destruction. And so humans turned to their last resort. Hey, we had Keishinta! They left behind a key for their revival. You're right on time for destruction of humanity! <laughs> Oh. Humanity's genetic data was stored in a base on the moon, and the entirety of their culture and history was preserved inside a server. Have you understood what you've seen here? Did you take notes, everyone? Humanity was driven to extinction by... <laughs> Humanity's own destruction of the environment. I mean, they did shoot the dragon! A plague and horrible monsters. They shouldn't have shot the dragon, man, but I'm gonna say this one. How about this, then? The cage's purpose is to preserve humanity's genetic data to preserve history until humanity's return. They ain't really returning <laughs> from that. Incorrect. What?! I guess we're returning. And now that the brother knows why the cage exists, he poses a question. Hey, so... If the enemy destroys the cage, will our memories vanish too? Bitter memories of his fights with his sister, warm memories of time spent with his family. It must be stopped. Let me ask you, will you protect the cage? Even if it, okay, even if I have to sacrifice what matters most, probably that one. Everything comes with a price. I suppose we don't have much choice. I mean, it's fight or die. <laughs> In this question alone, the siblings find a reason to protect the cage. It's like you either sit for it and wait for it to be gone, or you do something. It is not much of a choice. The Final Fantasy game you found in the trash was Final Fantasy XV? Oh no. I know P the opinions on Final Fantasy XV are kind of split. I personally really enjoyed it, but you could actually like feel where the game was incomplete, because it was not completed properly. There is, there's so much missing of that game, but I really enjoyed it, still. Could have been even better if it was complete. 
Nicely done, the both of you. Let's keep going. Yes, Mama. Let's go, Mama. But yeah, I, I liked cruising with the boys. It was also my first Final Fantasy game. Tenage, I owe you an apology. I hid the cage's true nature from you until the enemy attacks grew this vicious. Despite all that, I'm still relying on you in the end. It doesn't matter anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... What does it matter now, right? Either we save it or we don't. Because I want to save everyone in the cage. Hell yeah, girl. What a queen. Final Fantasy XV drove you insane because of all that wasted potential? Yeah, kind of same. Yeah, yeah. It, oh, it had such amazing moments. Oh my god, the final boss fight? Oh well, the, the boss fight before the final boss fight even. Oh my god, and the soundtrack of that. I love that so much to this day. Occasionally I just think about it. There's such like amazing stuff there occasionally and it's it can be so much fun But then you just you literally see exactly where it was like, okay They didn't actually develop this part of the game because they didn't have time So you just go through like a super short section Why are you so eager to help them? <gasps> because of apples! Remember how I accessed the cage service without telling you? Oh no! I watched all of their records from Rion's journey to Udiga's escape. Everything. Zenbu. And as I did, I started feeling warm. It was a sensation I'd never felt before. The story stirred your heart in your uneventful life on the base. I love her. She's so cute. So, right. So I want to repay them. Aww, she's just lo She's a lonely bean. She's just a lonely bean trying her best. Oh my God. Hey, that on the top right. That's Emil. Oh no, wait. That's uh, his sister actually. Because that's the big one. Hey, that's a mere sister. <laughs> Whoa, that's some crazy glitching. I hope the satellite is alright. Let's go! It's more lore time! Hold on. I know that woman. The woman is right here on the right. <laughs> um, hold on. Ten H. How much less force does she have? Uh, quite a bit, but we should still be fine, right? Yeah, okay, this is fine. I kind of just want to have 10 age in the team for this. Mm, I'm reluctant to ask the siblings for help with one that looks this rough. Wait, the satellite's data structure is... No way! Wait, don't go in there alone! Uh-oh. Oh no. That doesn't bode well. <laughs> apples! We always stop for the apples. Nutritious and delicious. Kinda want an apple right now. Oh hey, I can't read that text. Isn't that the bunker? The girl is sent to a bleak room. The air inside is cold. I feel like I've seen this record before. Lured in by the familiar sight, she takes in her surroundings. I knew it. This is my... It is the bunker! It says Yorha right there. Yeah. 
This is the bunker, the android soldier's base, where the girl once spent most of her days. Why did she get to take care of the moon? It's been forever. Yeah, I know that! We know that! In the year 10,000, humanity went extinct and the world lost its rulers. It was then invaded by machine life forms, weapons set loose by aliens. Okay, we're in the near automata lore now, everyone. Walk it. Yeah. These androids were born of the wisdom humans left behind so that they might fight the machines. They used this place as a base and waged a war to retake Earth. Why did the aliens pick Earth? I feel like there would be cooler planets out there than Earth, actually. Especially because by the time of Automata, Earth just stopped spin spinning. Why is nobody here? But the girl does not know that the seemingly everlasting war had already come to an end. <gasps> she doesn't know! Uh oh, she doesn't know. Uh, so, uh... There's a lot that happened in Automata! Oh, girl! Oh, no! Oh, wait, wouldn't she have seen the bunker fucking explode? <laughs> <laughs> Machine life forms had attacked the base. Where is everyone? Oh no. The elite androids known as Yorha have been infected by a virus. Welcome back! Oh no, they're spinning! Run! <laughs> Run! Oh no! The virus spread like wildfire and brought down the base in an instant. Oh, all the operators. Kill me! Oh, oh, what fun! We're supposed to be on the same side! A white blade stands at the end of the corridor. They spin to win. Yeah. Uh, it's a good stretch, I will say. Also, bye, Dante. Thanks for stopping by. Wait, isn't that. Let's go. Wah! feels so good! She takes the blade in hand and uses it to strike a mighty blow. It is then that a voice echoes in her mind. <laughs> I heard Coco meow in the background and exactly, exactly when she said that. Oh, Guala Canal is playing again. Oh, this I love. I love when that song plays here. Also, I think Coco wants to come in. It's two B. Oh, everyone is gone. I should have gone with them. Oh. I will never forgive the machines for hurting them. Nine. Oh no! Oh. Coco was the final boss all along. Oh. <laughs> to be still in that sword. Hmm. The voice of the blade's old owner pours through her. 
She was but another casualty of the virus. Yeah, uh, to be is fucking dead. Uh, no way. Well, I guess not if you have ending E and know what happens afterwards through the concert, but that's another story. And that is how the base met its end. A casualty of the machine life forms. Another casualty of her fellow androids who lost control. Machine life forms? Oh, it's Engels! We just walk into its mouth. <laughs> what is this place? Hello there. You wish to see your friends, but that wish will never come true. My friends. Uh oh. Your fellow androids who you miss so dearly are gone. The place you call home is no more. I'm alone again. No, baby! Don't bird like that! You must lie to yourself, say you are used to solitude and bear the darkness of loss. No, girl! What the fuck? I must join them! Oh! I'm so tired of being alone. Aww. No, she's burning. <sighs> mama, Mama, we need help. Mama, Mama, <laughs> use your data restoration, your sick data restoration trick, please. Ten H is sad. She needs a hug. Oh. Yippee. Meanwhile, on the lunar base. Oh. Oh dear. Indeed. What's happening? My connection with 10H has been severed, and it seems she's been kicked from the network as a result. Oh no, we have to save her as soon as we can. Back in. Ah! Ugh. It's no good. The terminal isn't working anymore. I'm always alone. Hmm. I can hear something coming from it. Is that 10H's voice? I'm so sick of all this. <sighs> Baby, no! I'm by your side. I connect this damaged part to the network. Let's go! Let's go, silly pod. I like how the SFX just goes entirely quiet when you move in here. It's infected too. We just need to work together and it will all work out. Right, Mr. Monster? Yeah, you're right. Mr. Monster! You'll help me? Thank you. Let's go! Oh. oh! I didn't even- I didn't look at the force needed, but I think it should be fine. Let's go! Please, I just wanna save Tanage and then give her a hug. Let's get this slaughter show on the road. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> More of you come to die? Just a little bit more. Wait for me, 10 age. Can we talk about how pretty 
the your house soldiers designs are though I mean technically they aren't like super different from each other all the time but they still they change like little details where it's like you can tell which is which and I think that's pretty cool oh and the pattern I love that stitching pattern that they all have Okay, are we back in the network? Can we can we go see the girl? Can we go save the girl? Oh. I managed to delete the corruption. Thanks everyone. It looks like we can display a little more data now. Good night, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Oh good! Miss Tanage must be so scared by herself! We have to go help her! Feels so cute! <laughs> Any clues as to her whereabouts? We should be able to catch up to her if we follow the same path through the network. In that case, we're going to save Tanage! Isn't that right, Yuzu? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I like that they finally don't want to kill each other anymore. <laughs> you know, it's really silly when you pick the option, the original option of, oh, one kills the other, and it's like, now you're back here, and they got over their squabbles after obliterating each other, and it's like, did you guys have a good, like, you had a good talk, or are we good? Are <laughs> you not gonna stab each other anymore? <laughs> I wonder if you only get the option if you do it a second time. Oh, music! Oh goodness, the enemy has taken control of 10H! Maybe we can still catch up to her. Perhaps so. Let us hurry! Oh, the music! 10H knew about all of you. 10H tried to save all of you. We know. So it's time for us to repay her. Thank you. Thank you so much. He had a beer and talked it over. <laughs> ah, yes. 10H must be this way. Even on a the server they have a chicken. What's with the chickens? Uh, this music track is so good, I love it. I just love video games, man. You ever have that moment where you play a game and it's like, it's really good? You can leave a debt unpaid. It's so good and you're just like, man, I love video games. <laughs> Begin battle? Oh shit. Over there, it's 10H. I love video games. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 10H, please calm down. She's not okay. I'm detecting a stealth type virus in her logic data. Hack into her. Can the two of you help me? It's 9S time. It would be funny if we got to play a hacking minigame. Oh, it's a graphic at least, but I think... We're just, we're just gonna battle her normally. It's not a hacking game. But that would be fun. It's a little wink wink, nudge nudge. 10 age, come back home. Oh shit, in the background you have images of them killing each other. <laughs> I don't want to be alone anymore. 10 age? I've been fighting by myself all this time. Please, please calm down. Aww. She's so. She's just a sad girl. I have no friends. You have us, 10H. Be my friend. I mean, even if they're just data. We are friends, so please. They are still like. They're still people. It's kinda. 
their data, how it shaped, came out of the data of humanity, right? So... In that sense, could you consider them real? I think you could. They're not, they're not just AI, they kinda are like humans. And there's literally, <laughs> literally probably no one else left. <laughs> I don't actually know how far this plays after Automata. I wonder if 9S and 2B would still be around by now. Maybe they would, but she wouldn't know that. Okay, we almost got her. Come back to us, girl! Lone birds. All oh, right. I wasn't on the lookout for birds, guys. We need to pay attention. We need to find the birds. There are probably some hiding still. But I trust you guys. You are very good at spotting the birds. The stealth virus has been rendered inactive and deleted. She's safe now. Aww. Thank you, everyone. I... Are you okay? <laughs> I never knew being helped by someone else felt so warm. Not with this music! It sure does. Thank you, both of you. Are you trying to kill me? Don't play this music! <laughs> oh. It's just a bit further to the last access point. Fuck, man. Oh, and now they go together. Oh, this is actually the server room. You said we were friends, didn't you? I kind of like to do something that friends do together, you know? I am not sure what to say. <laughs> they can go buy t-shirts together and play video games together. And maybe they could play billiard. I kind of feel like going and playing billiard again. It's been a while. <laughs> this is protected data leaking from the broken service. Let's have a closer look. What secrets are you hiding? Oh. What are records of the cage doing so close to Earth? And why are they... Why are there guns? Did you see that at the bottom right? Is that the cage off in the distance? I guess it must be. It's not supposed to be here though. Right! Uh, it's kind of flying there at the top. Um... Hmm... Oh no, wait. We need to read that. <laughs> a smartphone! Is this a smartphone? Why was this put into the records? The your house holders discovered smartphones. <laughs> Efficiency lowered by 10% because operators would always just look at cat pictures that humanity has left behind you should reach earth soon can you see what it's like down there from here i can but it's going to look a lot different than your earth give me those apples i'd still like to see it with you 10 age yeah, I still haven't really gotten the chance to talk with you, or the others. Imagine if they started playing gacha games? Oh no! We're almost there. This is the final access point to Earth. Dude, I'm, I'm literally dying because this music keeps playing in the background. I love this track so much. It makes me really emotional. Oh no, if they started playing gacha games, where are our Yorha funds for this month? 
Okay, who of you pulled 250 times? <laughs> and it was just 6 0. <laughs> so this is our goal. But first, I need you to go in and remove this last bit of corruption. Get your last bit of lure, everyone. You're not coming with us? No, I need to stay here and support you from the outside. Well, here goes nothing. Actress the Shadowlide. Oh, it's both of them in the fight. Let's go. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. This is the final one. This is the final one before we go to Earth. Are you ready? Are you ready for Earth? <laughs> you two create more than just conflict. You kept me here in this world. I believe in you. Don't talk like this. <laughs> Everything will be fine. And we'll all be okay and go home happy! Nothing bad ever happens in your games. Don't give me text on black screen. Hmm? The siblings are steeped in an impenetrable darkness. It's so dark. So my shoulder fucking hurts. <laughs> they are uneasy as they cannot see anything before them, yet they blindly press forward. My arm actually fucking hurts today. I worked a bit too much yesterday. Actually, the last two days. Their eyes slowly grow accustomed to the blackness. I need to chill this weekend. The darkness parts. And they see a long staircase winding around a building. Kind of like the thingies on the copied factory, aren't they? As they climb the stairs, they find an aged apparatus similar to the ones that they had seen in the cage. It's the it's the silly button. Does it work? Wonders the brother as he inspects the apparatus. Get it. it. Fuck around and find out. Oh, hey! What's this? It's your high unit to be at the start of your automata. Actually, no. Who's that in a bag? Memories flood the, si flood, flood the siblings' minds. <laughs> it is a rec recording of the battle between the androids and the machine life forms invading Earth. The battle veered towards its conclusion once the androids died and their key position, the bunker fell. Who's this other person? That's not 9S, it's someone with a sword. Oh, maybe, maybe this is the... Actually, did A2 have a pod during the Pearl Harbor mission? The loss of their elite units, the androids woefully lacked firepower. The machines seized the opportunity to eradicate their remaining opposition across the world. It again, give me the silly pictures. And slowly, their forces grew. It kind of looks like they're <laughs> have cleaning mobs. Every city on earth was ruled by machines, as if they're just sh shoving some cleaning mobs around. <laughs> uh, I, I know it's scrap, but like at the bottom, it looks kind of silly. And after many years, they built a kingdom. That's oh, the king from the forest, isn't it? What in the world is all of this? At the top of the stairs, the siblings emerge into a wide open space. Hey, the sun and the moon hang in the sky above. Look up there in the sky. 
flashing through their minds are the memories of their journeys to restore the broken sun and moon. Oh, that did open. When they finally brought their wishes to life, the sun and moon were conjunct. That did open the path to Earth, didn't it? And then Earth itself fucking attacked and turned into two queen beast. Little did they know that the very act would draw the enemy into the cage. Right, if they can get out now, the enemy can get in. I can't believe it, it's all our fault? Well, you didn't know! The dark foes sneak up on the siblings, taking advantage of the darkness in their hearts. Get your cool swords! Fuck them up! You showed that you can do it! Do it again! <laughs> I didn't see it, do it again. Oh. Guys, I have the clock in mind. I see it in the corner of my right eye. But we still have some time. You let us here. You invited us in. That is why history has been broken. The memories have been broken. Because we invited invited them in, or we invited them in because we kind of broke them. No way! We let the enemy into the cage. Don't listen to them. It's too late to stop this now. But they didn't they just do what Mama and Papa told them? Were these Mama and Papa part of the good guys? They were sad afterwards, weren't they? They sounded like they were good guys. Maybe no one knew. Maybe they didn't know either. So it's not their fault. At least that's what I think. Also, why is he not fucking dying? Why are you dying? Please don't die. Ten H, save us, Ten H. We need you, Ten H. Okay, one of them. Oh, did he not die? Man, don't you love it when you have like an enemy on screen and you can literally see they are on like 0.5% HP and then your turn is over and you're like, what the fuck? Also, oh my god. Shit, it's on the right, you can't see it. Uh, Hina has 74 HP left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Slightly sweaty. It was the brother and sister who created the opportunity for the enemy's attack. The minds are gradually blotted by guilt. But you didn't know! Get out of there. I know you can do this. I believe in you. But the words of the girl who put her trust in them replace in their hearts. Yeah, let's go! The promise that they would one day see Earth for themselves. And so... We need to make amends. Our wish must come at a price. Oh. Take what we cherish most. So it is what was needed of us, yeah. The siblings give up the memories of their family to put the sun and moon together again. Okay, that's a little bit fucked up. I guess they don't have fragments to... But well, the fragments that they used before kind of were they, their memories. So yeah, maybe that is what they need to sacrifice to put the sun and moon together. Another eclipse is born. We made a portal! This is the gateway to the root connecting Earth and the cage. Ten age! The interference has been mitigated. Looks like we made it. Great work! They are relieved to see their friends appear. I hate relying on you so much, though. 
Thank you. Ten eight. It is thanks to their protection that the siblings' memories avoid complete deletion. Aw, she saved some. Earth beyond the eclipse. Let's go. That's a horrible noise. If we don't hurry, the uh, will. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm all right. That's a fucking lie. Whenever a character says I'm all right, they are not all right. We've been spotted. We need to hurry. The path to Earth was closing once again. I hold things down here until everyone's through. Tenage, what are you doing? Tenage, no. I'm done for, anyway. The girl understands. She can no longer maintain her consciousness data due to suffering from repeated infections. It's not too late. Sorry, we... Hard ways here. The girl knows. Those who had been drawn out from the cage are the key to victory in this fight. No, did you pay a price as well? There's no time. Go already. Dot dot indeed. <sighs> I had a wonderful time. Even if she has to let go of her friends, the ones who freed her from loneliness. I lost I lost my most precious something. Even if her words never reached them. Thing? Memory? I enjoyed every moment together. I leave the cage and earth in your hands. Well, everyone, like I said before, I guess I have to kill everyone in this room now. <laughs> I guess I just fucking blow up. <laughs> yup, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> uh... Why is it raining ashes again? Oh, let's get moving. She looks so cute. This is Earth. 10H wanted to see it alongside all of you. It's snowing. Snow in summer. It's so white. Oh, I see something. Isn't this supposed to be Earth? It's almost like... Uh... Guys, <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, uh, guys, <laughs> let, let me look out of the window real quick. Yeah, okay, there's still buildings there. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, asphyxia. Hey. <laughs> What the heck? Dot. What the fuck? Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for your super. Thank you for your emotional dot. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. I'm going insane. I'm losing my goddamn mind. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Also, guys, this is the final chapter. And Earth looks 
Just like the cage! What the fuck happened? And how long has it been? Okay, when you end Automata, it's still like city ruins and a desert and and broken fucking bunker and like there's there's an ocean and now it's all the cage. How long is this after Automata? Are we actually on Earth? Are we sure we're on Earth? Because supposedly this this is Earth. No matter how far we go, it all looks like the cage. It sure fucking does. Is this really Earth? It is. The enemy coordinates 10 H left us point to an area up ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while uh, that it took for this chapter to come out. It's so white. It's like the Tokyo I saw in the memory. Yeah! Yeah, like right after the red dragon fell. Is the entire world going to shit again? <laughs> Whatever. Just Let's just keep going. Who built this, the machines? That is my question, too! Wait, pot, was it? Are those your earth clothes, mama? Your earth clothes! <laughs> That's so cute! That's right, but on the inside, I'm still the same mama you know. Oh, he was so adorable. What's that big building? 10H's coordinates lead there. Let's have ourselves a look. I mean, the machines could have built this, right? The machines have done a lot of weird shit because they want to... You know, mimic humanity. A red light? Oh no, don't touch it. Hi there! This is the Birdhouse Anti-Air System! Just great. Get out of there. Yo, what the fuck? In accordance with protocol, all airborne objects approaching the birdhouse will be shut down. Take cover behind a building. Anti-air burn. Jeez. Thanks for the help. I mean, a mama gets blasted. <laughs> You're dead too. So they've got anti-air systems in place. Seems like they're trying to lock down the dome in the center. The birdhouse, they call it. We'll have to shut down the anti-air systems before we can infiltrate the dome. Commencing scan for outer range of system. Ooh, fancy! Just leave the route to mama. What the heck? So now we're in the cage, but with guns. <laughs> so why does Earth look like the cage? Yeah, that's... You've got it backwards. Oh, the cage has taken on the form of Earth, you see? Oh! The cage was originally meant to reflect Earth's environment. It seems their similarity was an effect of that characteristic. Let's put Earth back to how it's supposed to be. I think 10H would have wanted that. Hey, Sora! Um, this is Earth. Welcome. I think so too. Thank you. So Earth looked like this first. And then the cage changed. The cannon on top of the tower is the anti-air system, right? Oh, you finally catch a stream day off? Oh. Looks like it hasn't spotted us yet. We should be able to approach it from below. Let's take a closer look. It's nice to have you back. Oh, oh no! I missed it again! Oh, I was so engaged in the fucking story! Oh, 
Everyone stretch! Yes, Time Livania! Have you remembered anything, Mr. Monster? And hydrate! No, I fucking forgot to stretch and hydrate again. I don't remember a thing. Is there any, even any point of me being here if I can't even stretch and hydrate? I'm just happy you're with us. Mm. God damn it. <laughs> oh. That's a big cannon. Let's get going. Your mama has some sick moves, though. Can we talk about that? <sighs> She's really good. Okay. A real, actual satellite. I'm beneath the anti-air system. As they say, it's darkest under the lamppost. They can't target me here. I've seen an antenna like this during my travels. But what is it for? I don't know, but we might be able to access the city network from here. Ooh! Then perhaps we can shut down the anti-air system. Let's give it a go! Oh? Why on earth you are unable to bring up data of characters stored in the cage? All battles will be carried out with a fixed loadout of characters who have made it to Earth. What? What? Oh? But I don't need to level them, do I? Because otherwise we have an issue because I only boosted zero Dragon Guard. <laughs> Does the glory of mankind include snuggles or is that up for debate? I mean, up to definition, I guess. The second girl, her, Earth Quantum Server. Oh? This is an ancient tale left behind as a memory in the Quantum Server. Oh. These two are the server's administrators, and they have no names. They are simply called him and her. Okay, you take the lead from here. Him and her, huh? But this is not the girls in red, is it? The girls in red who lead the machine consciousness? Their role is to watch. Their role is to listen. Watching and listening to the cycle of human history on this planet. The tales of the vessels. Okay, so, so they don't do anything bad, it seems. They're friendly? Touch it just as I've taught you. Touch it. Touch. E. Are you sure you wanted that? Oh shit! <laughs> they observe the memories recorded within. You walk across the streets in Tokyo and two flying, flying people come towards you, menacingly. Here they find a fragment of history from a time when science and culture were firmly established. Humanity entrusted it all to the server. Let us see the rest of the memory. Let us hear the rest of the memory. Oh? Would that be Hina and you then? Do they, do they see them? Curious. Oh! Here they find the memory of a ruined city. Right! So this is what became of that city. It fucking died. The people are tormented by riots and plague. No, no trace of the city's former prosperity can be seen. Help me. I don't want to die. It hurts. Oh, the birds! But we don't play the, the 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 him and her, right? 
We play Noel. Oh! It's Fia and Levania! So this is humanity's history. They are beyond saving. They're in so much pain. Can't we help them? And what do you get from helping strangers? One of them is right next to you. Even if I don't know them, I still feel bad for them. And maybe they'll be my friends one day. Exactly. These two wouldn't have been friends as well. If it didn't come to this. <laughs> I like how Fio's just, just dancing around. Ah yes. We're fighting, I guess. Yippee! <laughs> oh, it's the downfall of Tokyo in the background on the images again. There we go. Win! What he and she observe is the path of is the path to annihilation. You must know what became of humanity. Does he know more than her? You know what they remind me of? She's despondent. Is there any way to help humanity? She asks. They remind me of one and her brother. Kinda. Our job is simply to observe how their future unfolds, he responds. Huh, okay. Next we will see Earth's current state. It's wild! <laughs> and they have guns! Big tower machine guns! And nothing else really. Really tall buildings. Charred corpses, specters of a crumbled civilization. She takes in the ghastly sight and murmurs to herself. Is there no hope left for humanity? Ah, uh, No, he says, shaking his head. Yeah, we tried that. It didn't go well. He believes in humanity's revival. You could say reincarnation! He, belie he, he, he believes humanity has the strength to overcome its fate. He believes that is the wish they must cling to as administrators of the quantum server. I mean, so they're friends! So this is good? Can they help us? We're right here with like humanity's data and what's left of it. Please send s send help. Title drop. <laughs> Near reincarnation. We're actually reincarnating humanity. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the end of the game. We somehow reincarnate humanity. I mean, I guess in a sense we did, even if it's just a, as data. Thank you for your input! The birdhouse anti-air system has been temporarily disabled! <laughs> they're so happy about... <laughs> they're, they're so happy! That was all... What was all that we just saw? It seems we got an influx of memories that were left behind on the city network. Which means humanity is already... Fucking dead. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey! Hey, you saw her past memories, huh? Girl of Light. Are you the girl from earlier? What's that pattern on your dress? Yeah, I'm her, and she's me. And you, the administrator of the quantum server humanity built on Earth? And you, are you? I sure am. She's been watching you and humanity's memories. And she, I'm alone in the city. Where's... Where's him? Where did him go? 
Not that you'd be able to get close to her. She sleeps in the birdhouse. <laughs> Watch me. Watch me. I'm gonna tear down this birdhouse. She's gone. All signs point to the birdhouse. Ooh, what's gonna get in our way now? We disabled one anti-air cannon. Let's do it again. Let's go! World ending announcement cheerful as fuck. Hello everyone! Welcome to today's announcement. The world is dying. Have a nice rest of your day. Hey, you're gonna get shot again. It's okay. Mama, Mama can do it. Mama has got the moves. I don't think there will be birds here, actually. I'm sorry, their search patterns seem to have changed after I disabled the first one. Hmm. We are in the real world, so there's probably no birds hidden here. I'd assume. We should be safe on this path. Let's hurry. Let's go. Oh. That is a long ass laser. <laughs> Gee, how far can they scan? Also, how deep does this go? So the boy and the girl were friends, right? Maybe the boy was uh, one of her ribs. Don't you think they're a lot like me and Mr. Monster? <laughs> Feel. Our oh, friends? I can't remember a thing. Right, he forgot everything. And she was like, we're gonna make new memories, yippee! <laughs> Alright, then let's be friends again, Mr. Monster. Aww. <laughs> the babies! If we became friends again, what would we do, Fear? Uh, well, we play together a bunch. Why limit yourself to just me? You can play with anyone. Yeah, but no one's a cool cockroach like you. I guess, but I want to play with you, min Mr. Monster. If you insist. <laughs> He's gonna grow into it. He's gonna grow back into it. There seems to be a net cast between buildings. I wonder what it could be. Passing through here seems a bit too dangerous. Unlocking the gate is required for passage. Thanks for that announcement. How convenient. <laughs> we apologize for the inconvenience. Holds up both peace signs. I have a hunch accessing that thing there might unlock it. <laughs> okay, why is it just floating there? Hello? <laughs> There's nothing blocking the space above the net. Can we just go over? Can you get blasted? No, it's too dangerous. Any higher and the anti-air system will target us. Yeah. I guess that would make us easy targets. Ugh, what a mess. I mean, hey, have you seen where we are? This is a little bit more than just a mess. <laughs> this device must operate the lock on the gate. There's no telling what will happen. Be on your guard, everyone. Give me the history of humanity, right now. Right, leave this to me. It's my specialty, after all. Don't get corrupted again. Like in all the other stories you're in. <laughs> yeah, super convenient. Yes, let's go. I wonder if they delete our save files when we're done. <laughs> they like to do that. They're just gonna delete my account. Oh shit, it's one of the flowers. Okay, yeah. That might be your specialty. Hello there, welcome to the Birdhouse System Services. Battle simulation commenced. 
Field idea. FD004001. During development, we referenced a virtual world where the prisoner couple lived. Ah, did you now? What the? How did the world of our memories get inside the enemy's data? This world belongs to us and only us. We'll overcome this together, my dear. Aww. Yeah, no time to stand around. Did they just occasionally look into the cage and then they were like... Mm, that was interesting, let me take that. It's like, <laughs> they did the... Let me look at your homework. I'm not gonna copy, I swear thing. <laughs> and then they just put the flowers straight up here. Uh, is this okay? I remember you telling us that these flowers are quite world endy. Well, this one in particular is not the same flower that seeks destruction of the world. They do seek destruction of the world, but specifically in the story of the prisoner couple. So there are also flowers who want to destroy the world, but it's not not the same flower on the outside world. It's complicated. Basically, this flower from the story. It tries to destroy the world in the story. This is just a simulation. We're fine. Hmm. Thank you for your input. The first stage of the gate lock has been disabled. Yay. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, hold up. There's another one. Its cloaking has been removed. Let's disable the next one as well. Let me guess, there are three. I assume there are three. Oh, okay. Question mark? Question mark? Exclamation mark? <laughs> Listen, I'm trying my best, but it's kind of hard to explain. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> yes, let's go in. Mm. Let's see. Man, gacha games are wild. Why are gacha games like this? <laughs> or rather, why do games like this become gacha games? Hey! Hello there! Welcome to the Birdhouse System Services! Metal simulation commenced! Field ID FD027001 I wonder if these numbers mean something. During development, we referenced the country where the thief and the princess lived. Our country never had monsters like these. Oh, you haven't seen what I have seen this. These monsters, or rather vir viruses, are created here and will be deployed to your worlds as they're ready. Oh, shit. What? Why? Oh, what the fuck? To destroy your worlds! Huh. We're not letting that happen. Isn't that why we're fighting now? Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Did you, dear? We won't let you take our worlds away from us. Okay, it's so nice that they get to fight together. Finally, and be together. So, whatever this is here, if this is remnants from the machines, they have been making viruses and then sending that data to their worlds to destroy that data. Okay. And so then all the birds are just viruses? Let's go, Christmas that I don't need. Woo! <laughs> uh, <laughs> cheery voice. I'm gonna send virus to your world. Enjoy dying. Okay. 
second one. And there's probably a third one on the left side, let me guess. Thank you for your input. The gate has been unlocked. Access granted. Oh, okay, only two. Color me surprised. Well? Let's move on. We should be able to get close to the anti-air system from here. Let's hurry. Oh, is it up there? Ah, oh, no, it's it's way up there. Okay. It stopped spinning. It sh it stopped spinning. Oh no, it's spinning again. Okay. Oh no, don't catch her now. <gasps> Wait. Could those be? Machine life forms? But they're broken. Yo, they're actually here! So round, they're kind of cute! They are kind of cute. Careful now, I'm certain they're the ones that made Earth like this. Oh, okay, the machine life forms did actually form Earth like that. What the fuck? Okay. Where did they get that idea from? Where in humanity's records did they see something and were like, Yeah, that looks good. Let's make the entire You know what? Let's cover the entire fucking world in it. What the heck did they find? There's more of them. The little stubbies. This is our second anti-air system. But they're all dead. Maybe from the aliens? How strange, all the machines have been wiped out. Yeah, why are they dead? I feel kind of bad for them. Aren't they your enemy? I know, but they're kind of cute. What happened to these machines? Scanning the antenna might shed some light. Uh, about the alien stuff, the aliens were dead before Automata even like, well, they land on Earth and then the machines just kill them. So by the time of Automata, the aliens are dead. They're not really smart either, they're like plant life forms, kinda. I'm surprised they could even attack Earth, honestly. <laughs> uh. So usually it's the machines and their network who think about stuff a little too hard and then they want to imitate humanity and then they start doing weird shit and building weird things. I thought they built the machines. I mean, they did, but then the machines killed them. Earth Quantum Server Ruination. The Red Girl. Here we go. That's the bad ones. A girl dressed in red wanders into the city's quantum server. The server's crumbling, just like me, huh? She's never taken this path before. She proceeds with uncertainty. The red girl is, in fact, the machine life form network in human form. Yeah, they're the. They're like the core of the machine consciousness network. She's hurt and she's brooding. She clings to the crumbling antenna and she repairs them. And then she peeks into the memory remaining, remaining inside. Aww. Here we are! That's our Tawata! It is a memory of when the machine life forms invaded Earth. Oh, hey, there we are, in the back. The red girl commanded the machine life forms and did everything in her power to accomplish their goal. So she's the one who destroyed Earth? 
But she looks kind of sad. Oh, swoop. Hmm. Uh, by the time aliens arrived, Earth had no intelligent life forms yet, so they might have thought the planet was free real estate. But they arrived after humanity was destroyed and Yorha was around, right? Destroy Earth? Yeah, we destroyed Earth. <laughs> hey, true neutral. The machines destroyed every last trace of human civilization. Yeah, and Yora is fighting them. That's right, we... Well, I guess they wouldn't see androids as intelligent life forms, maybe. Humanity's leg legacy, the androids, stood up against them. No matter how many times they broke, the lifeless dolls threw themselves into battle against the machines, all in an attempt to protect Earth. Oh! No, they're our friends, not birds! Don't hit the Yorhas! Also... So good that this song is playing, which originally came out with, you know, the group name being Yorha. All they do is fight? That's so sad. It's two 9s's and a 2b! <laughs> I feel like I once led a similar life. Why were you fighting? I believe it was to eat dreams, but I doubt there was a purpose. I mean, it was just instinct for him, kind of. I fought for the sake of fighting. Yeah, Levania and Theo are back. I might have been the same as them, these machines and androids. Huh, so you fought a whole lot too, Mr. Monster. I have, but I no longer have that constant urge. They have a lot of health, damn. They are your house soldiers, I guess. Well, one of the nine S's is down. <laughs> Obliterate nine S and two B. At some point, I really need an all-out near lore college course by Sin Hakase. <laughs> Let me get out the wiki page. <laughs> okay, only two B left. Uh, I meant definitely not two B. Okay, there we go. Win. Okay, they're dead. But this, this is definitely not to be. I guess they just didn't have any other models to use of your high units. Gacha time when? Uh, I mean, I can throw what I have onto something later. Countless androids fell. Victory for the machines was imminent, or so they had thought. Who's the red girl? She's called N2. The girl regretted it all, her mistakes, her pride. She's the core of the machine consciousness network. Uh. Born from heavy losses on both sides, she found a draw at the end of the never-ending war. Androids and machine lifeforms both stand on the brink of annihilation. What you gonna do now, huh? Oh. Okay. A 
Ender. It's all my fault anyway. Ah. 99% of gamblers give up before the big win. <laughs> True! The red girl presses forward, incorporating what little data remains of the machines into herself. She does this to take on their pain and suffering into one body. Hmm. Oh, hey! But this pain, this emotion... We have to help her! Yeah, that's not how it works, dear Theo. Swoop! Oh, it's the white girl! Appearing before her is her, the administrator of the quantum server humanity created. She and the red girl are meant to be polar opposites, and yet... Ah, okay. So, Humanity Server had their own red girls, kind of. Consciousness, like, core administration thingy. I'm so lonely. The girl reaches out to her, seeking salvation and forgiveness. Oh! Oh! The red girl vanishes, blissfully unaware of the dissolution of her very existence. It's all your fault. Finally, she uses the girl's power to change the city. She transforms it into something resembling the home planet of the machine life form's creators. Oh! Memory of the machine network from the aliens' home world. Oh boy. <laughs> so after everyone was fucking dead, they were like, well, transform this into alien planet. Let's go. Ah. For your input, the birdhouse anti-air system has been temporarily disabled. We stand in front of the door, they all turn on again. We get blasted. <laughs> Humanity, the machine life forms, the androids, they're all gone now. Well, the data is still here. All that remains on this planet is her. We can change that. Meaning, it wasn't the machines that made Earth like this. It was you? Clever. I had no choice. Because you slurped up N2? And N2 wanted it? Emergency locks have been activated on the birdhouse due to all anti-air systems being offline. We apologize for the inconvenience. Yippee! Who's the Yorha drone? That's Mama. We're close. Let's head towards the birdhouse's entrance. It's Mama! Can already see Sin going mad in front of a whiteboard with hundreds of friends. <laughs> That's me. She's being human. She's a being humanity created within their quantum server. So why has she attacked Earth and the cage? Oh, we waste our time thinking. We must press on. Ah. Uh, yeah. Why is she attacking the server then? That is a good question. So it was her who warped our worlds. And she made me lose my sanity. 
Whatever is going on with her, it doesn't matter. I want to keep the town my sister and I lived in safe. Agreed! We have to protect our homes! Everyone, grant me your strength. Okay, here we go. I see the satellite inside. That girl in red, she's all alone. I feel bad for her. Didn't she get dissolved into nothingness? <laughs> but isn't she an enemy of humanity? Yeah, but everyone gets lonely. Theo, you're too good for your own sake. <laughs> yes, let's go. I am... Um, how is this gonna end? Cause damn. A damn. Especially considering... The tweet I saw that was just like... What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I keep thinking about that. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to the Birdhouse System Services. Battle simulation commenced! It's the king! Field ID FD002005 During development, we reference the world with a powerful kingdom. Enjoy perishing today! This is based on our world, isn't it? Yes, and that foe looks like it was based on my father. That must be awkward. <laughs> Help, servant! Here we test the efficiency of the viruses we send to the cage. Warring king. What better way to destroy our world? That's so mean. Prince. It's all right. We fight together. Don't strain yourselves. I'll open the way for you from here. Ouch, you're getting kind of slapped there. Kind of getting, kind of getting slapped there, Gail. There we go. It's okay. We got it! I didn't even have to level 10 H. Now we just get we're just getting everyone to fight with us. Do we need to hit a second one? Or is the game kinder to us? They just want us to kind of go through all the worlds again, I guess. It's like a victory run. Victory lap. Thanks for your input. The first stage of the gate lock has been disabled. And there's the second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have you figured out, game. I see your pattern. I got it. I understand. Have you ever been alone, Theo? I always had you with me, Mr. Monster. So I was okay. Aww. Despite how she was treated. I see. Despite how she was treated in the real world as a goat person until they made her house a literal garbage disposal that was so that was kind of fucked up but also i was so confused about that because that one was kind of just like okay you have like a list of things how can we make this worse and then they throw a dice <laughs> battle simulation commenced Field ID FD021002 uh, It's the disgusting mouth guy again. A school for young mages served as the model for this one. The 
Did we come back? Yeah. No, I think it's a copy of our world. But forget that. Look out! Yeah, I don't want to get slurped by that thing. Oh, did you want to be human? Let me help you out. Just kill another 100 mages. Stop! Don't irritate the cat. Keep it together. I'm here. We'll face them together. Okay. I can do it as long as I'm with you. Exactly. We make it home together. It was. I also have yet to understand what goat persons are actually. Oh, in that story, it was like. It was just like they had like very strict cast like caskets for society and were standing. So you had the nobles, you had the commoners, and then you had the goat people. And the goat people were just like. They were like kind of the scum of the people. They were shoved around and kind of treated like garbage and like slaves. So eventually her mom ran away with a commoner and then they turned her house into a garbage disposal and no one cared that she was starving because oh she's just a dumb goat person. They kind of the commoners kind of used the goat people to vent their frustrations about the nobles. Okay, and now the thing disappears. Thank you for your input, the gate has been unlocked. Access granted. Yeah. There we go. Classic commoner behavior. <laughs> yep, it's always the same with those commoners. This is the birdhouse, but the door is closed. I suppose it wants us to fiddle with an antenna again. Let's do this, Mr. Monster. Guess that settles that. Access a voice. Sure. Was Mama always like this? She was just wearing a cloth? Well, the Mama we saw was kind of like a projection, a data projection of what's actually a pod. And that was just the form she decided to take on. The first boy, him. Ooh, fancy. This is a memory of the beginning. A humanity fa as humanity faces extinction, they leave behind insurance for their revival. <gasps> Is that the fucking tree from... What is this place? Is this the data memory tree from near Replicant? They develop a quantum server to record all of human history, built to resemble a plant. Oh yeah, right! It is here that he is born. It should be. His only job is to observe the history left to him. That tree had been a computer from the start. Oh my god. Within the server are records of humanity at the peak of its prosperity. This is human history. And he didn't like it, so he blew it up. Oh. <laughs> uh, he presses forward, all to know more about the humans who birthed him. And this is what became of them. But humanity is driven down the path of destruction by rampant disease and endless violence and shooting down a dragon. What is the server trying to show me? What does it want me to do? Hey! 
help me. He attempts to reach out to her. The record of Sunya must be in there. Yeah, somewhere there must be a version of me in here. But she cannot interfere with a history that has already passed. I see. My role is to watch. To know. Oh! Yo! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Slurp that up too, huh? He does not so much observe, but rather incorporates. You good? You okay? Is this anger? Is it sadness? He etches the whole of history into himself. Humanity's pain and suffering. It's always the pain and the suffering, but what about humanity's joy? That has to be in there too. Through their pain, I will understand them. It is the only thing he can do for the sake of humanity. What? Is this the only memory I am to see? Finally, he arrives at the end of history. The present. Oh. Oh! Swoop! There we go! What's this? Ah, uh, what he sees is perplexing. He sees Earth's future. Not only the past, but future history is recorded in the server as well. Future history? Was already on that server? Is it a loop? Is it a loop? <laughs> Is this fear? Is it loneliness? His mind spins. There must be something he can do. Oh. He understands now. Androids and machine life forms will wage war in the year 11945. Humanity will have been gone, and yet he presses forward. Aww. What emotion will I learn next? Hope! Because they're still here. In a sense. What is this place? In the even further future, Earth will change drastically. It now seems like a single peculiar endless building. That's a big ass building. I wonder how that looks like from space. Another me? Beyond the building, he sees himself sleeping. And so he learns. The end of history and beyond is now the past. History has repeated itself over and over in a loop! And it is his role to observe as time faces its destructive fate over and over again. The loop theorists were right! Holy shit! I'm so alone. I'm scared. I'm so sad. I'm angry. Alone. Over and over and over again. Until all that is left inside of him is stained in the darkness of nihility. I can't believe this. The loopers, they were right. The loopers were right all along. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Uh, so... Does this mean time is repeating itself in the human world? 
He's seen the same sad history so many times, all alone. He must have been so lonely. Fucking hell. I've been alone my entire life, but I'm fine with that. Skill issue. <laughs> Works for me. But you came to save me once, Mr. Monster. Did I? Yep, you made sure I wasn't alone. Oh my god, it's all time loop stars. It's all time loops. It's all time loop stars. I'm going insane. All my favorite games turn out to be time loop stories. I'm going to lose my mind. Ah. <laughs> Oh my god, by the way, time loop theory has been around for ages. Before this game even started, people had been theorizing. Oh, is the near timeline just a loop? I've had enough. He yearns to escape this repeating fate, this perpetual nothingness. He makes his wish, and with it, noise spreads across the server. The path appears before him. The verging branches, a split history. <gasps> oh my god! You know what, I'm taking a bathroom break. I'll be right back, okay, give me a minute here, I'm going insane! Wow! Yeah, I'm going insane. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I'm going insane. Hello everyone. I'm back here again. Shinta, you can't run. I see you right there. <laughs> uh, also, two hour mark, guys. Wow, the timing. Stretch. What? What? <laughs> yeah, you need to run faster. <laughs> Thank you for the super, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Hold on, I need to. Okay, give me one second. Uh, I need to send a message, okay? I have a dedicated near channel for my friends, and the entire point of that channel is just that I take screenshots when I'm playing. And I, I explain the entire lore that is happening. And I need to write, guys, I am going fucking insane. I send screenshots later. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Oh. <clears throat> 
Loops and Lesbians, the same game story. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I play, it doesn't matter what I like, it's all lesbians and loops. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Finally, he has found it. He always believed in a singular faith, but there are, in fact, endless possibilities. He realizes that these diverging histories are born from the choices people make. What's a court then? What's a court then? And, and, and where does the flower come from then? In that case, maybe I... And so he too decides to make a choice of his own. Make a friend! He seeks possibilities so that he may change his own fate. Pull out your ribcage and make a friend! His choice creates another version of himself. It's her! This being is called her. Sin insane, sin insane emote, including the tinfoil head. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the emptiness, the emptiness bearing down upon him eases at last. He's no longer alone. So what what happened and why is he gone now and why is she there? Sin going mental emote is needed badly. Yeah, I, f I, f I think so too. <laughs> For whenever I pull out my lore book again. Oh my god. Well, that was wild. Congratulations! The gate to the birdhouse has been unlocked. Without further ado, we've prepared a fabulous gift for you inside. Welcome and enjoy your stay! Yeah. Hi, hi. So he created her. And she slurped up and to. Wait, I remember something. What is this? It feels like the pain of loss. Are you okay, Mr. Monster? I'm fine. You'll be okay, I'm here. <laughs> These two. We must press forward together to protect Earth and our homes. You're right. I believe in us. And 10H does too! <laughs> I wonder what awaits us inside. No matter what it is, we'll be okay, cause we're together! <laughs> Always the optimist. Oh, please let it be like a... Please let it be like a cathedral. Please let it be like the cathedral from, from Drakengard or something. That would be crazy. I beg of you. <laughs> and now I can finally pour tea because now it has actually... It has actually... Been in the water long enough. You got a bad feeling about this? Nah, nothing ever goes wrong in your game. So worry about it. We'll be fine. We're gonna save Earth and humanity. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I never had the power to change the world, but I at least had the power to change myself. A note found beside a dark monster. This is the it says reincarnation. Oh my god. It looks like the tower. Oh. 
Mr. Monster? Mama? Theo. We lived, bitches. Is this the building's interior? It's so pretty. Yeah, Mama's back. I believe this is a world that exists on the boundary of reality and virtual space. That must be why you two have materialized like you have. Hey, Mama, what's over there? Let's go have a look. It's a silly floating girl. Let's see. I think our adventure together is almost over, Mr. Monster. Music box. And when it is, if we win, our the cage will be saved, right? Right? Yeah, but, well... But... There she is. She's sleeping so soundly. She's been alone here this whole time? She must have been. He's not here. Perhaps something happened between them, or... Help me. I'm so lonely. Mr. Monster! We have to help her! I provide backup. Ooh... Be beat, beat up the orb? Beat the orb? Senior <laughs> merch is over there? Yeah, right! You found it! What's over here is actually anniversary merchandise that you can still acquire for a limited time! Wow! <laughs> Access her! <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, what's gonna what's waiting for us? Her and him. And a snake. Ooh, pretty music. He was alone, and so he chose to make her. Together they run and play within the quantum server Sea of Memory. Oh. Their role is to observe all of human history recorded here. Or the different branches. History repeats itself eternally, with no beginning or end. Touch it, just as I've taught you. Touch it. Ah, oh, the music is from the trailer of this act. The people in the world. He has witnessed humanity's demise countless times on his own. Oh, so It is an inescapable darkness. A time of everlasting nihility. Humanity entrusted it all to the server. But together, they can overcome any hardship. And together, he believes they can dream. Off they go. The two floaties. So what happened? As they spend eternity side by side, he tells her of his dreams. I'm certain that one day... One day someone will forge a history in which humanity is saved from extinction. 
<gasps>、ね <laughs> Only to lose them. It's kindness. <laughs> she knows the pain of loneliness after making friends, so she's determined to save one of them. And both him and her understand their wish for humanity's revival will be granted at last. I haven't seen the new replicant ending. Only in the moment of the quantum server's destruction, along with all the memories within. I'm getting him back. Oh, you are for rain entity in this world. This is when she gets near back. Oh, an error created by a discrepancy between memory and record. Shut your goddamn trap for one goddamn second. <laughs> it's blurred out. I haven't seen the. Okay, so in the remake of Near Replicant, the extra ending is there that leads to, you know, Near Automata. It's, it's like, it's an ending because Near disappears. He sacrifices himself, and all memory of him is gone. Then Kaina goes to the server in the tree and tries to get him back into existence. I haven't seen that new ending in Replicant. Because I stopped playing after I was going insane from cultivating a lunar tier for two weeks straight for an achievement. So I haven't seen it yet because I wanted to see it myself while I played. But this is basically as it's happening. Oh, this version of Kinda Escape is so good. Hello. I know I was talking a lot, but damn. <laughs> The quantum server falls, signifying his and her deaths. I get it now, this power. This woman will bring an end to the quantum server. Her choice will bring about a new history that even he does not know. His battle is lost, but born in him is joy. Fucking finally! <laughs> the woman rejects her faith, and in her, he sees light. The light that will lead humanity to salvation. Kinda saved humanity! <laughs> However, he makes a miscalculation. Uh oh. Though she scatters, she alone remains here in this world. Wait, she scatters, she alone remains? He scatters, maybe? She would spend an eternity alone in this nothingness. So she remained... Oh, fuck. I want to see him again.
Okay. All right. Huh. That's why she's been all alone. Huh? We didn't come back to the same place? We're back in the data space. This feeling tells me we are inside her. We're in a place that resembles her heart. Ah, okay. Uh, I sense nothing. Maybe her heart got empty when she was left all alone. Okay, alright, okay. We're inside of her right now. Let's see. Do you think I could be that girl's friend? <laughs> oh, Fio. There's no saying what she'll do to you. She didn't seem like a bad entity. She just seemed sad. There you are. Please speak to us. Humanity created you, so why do you menace Earth at the cage? Maybe she just wants it all to be gone. You've been sad and lonely, haven't you? She's going to attack. Maybe she's like, oh, if I have to be alone, if all of this, like, if that's all that's left, then maybe it's better if I destroy it all, kind of thing. Well, well try to destroy it all. Because this is just one of many timelines. Also, she's not very talkative. You won't be lonely if you stay with us. Nope, still doesn't want to talk. Why won't you talk to us? <laughs> Refused. Maybe she's not listening. It would be so sad if you broke the cage. Please don't do that. Oh. Watch out, Fio. We have to take her down. Now just just punch her a little kindly. Okay. Levania does look cool. I really like Levania. And I like I like them both together. It's so I don't know, something about this little overly friendly naive girl and then the cockroach monster just becoming best friends. I like that. I like them. They're cute. Will you talk now, perhaps? Can we stop beating up each other, yes? I was gonna say, communication solves problems, but then again, they have seen history of humanity, and uh, that's not how it always worked. <laughs> oh. Did we subdue her? No, that was not her. It seemed to be a defense mechanism of this place. It did react to what we said, though. One of the walls of her heart. Are there four? Three? Three or four? Perhaps? Maybe she doesn't want to be our friend. No. My god. What are they gonna do with this? <laughs> I'm already going insane. How much further can we get? May I ask something? What is it? If we become friends, what game would you want to play? Yeah, that's the right question! <laughs> I want to dance with you! Aww. Can you not dance alone? It's way more fun to dance with others! Then, would you want to dance with the other girl in white too? All three of us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, that's adorable. What are those black things rising into the air? I 
think they're viruses attacking the cage. They must have been born within her heart. Ah, okay. The cage! We have so many memories there. We have to protect it. Hey, Novikov! Oh, <laughs> He doesn't remember anything. We traveled the cage together, like this is a long time ago. That's why the cage is my favorite place. Aww. Are we sad if it's destroyed? Are we kind of sad if we fucking die? Then all we need to do is stop her. Mm -hmm. But with everyone here, we'd probably be fine, right? Exactly. We think of ways we can back you up. Isn't that right, Lars? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Paints me... It pains me we cannot be there in person. But should the need arise, we are always happy to help. Oh, ooh, okay. This this is this looks a bit wild, a bit wilder. Is that the Earth inside? <laughs> what the Earth doing? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, this place looks really cool, though. I really like this shot. There she is. Well done. You finally made it all the way here. She's talking! Yippee! Please restore Earth and the cage back the way it was. To the way they were. You came all this way just to say that? Let's be friends. We should know full well that we will never see eye to eye. Then maybe explain thyself! <laughs> Wait, please don't hurt everyone! If only it were so simple. Bio, get back! Is it that you're afraid of making more friends? You don't know anything! Oh no! Don't hurt the babies! You'll never understand eternal despair! You'll never know perpetual death! Perpetual is trapped in a never-ending cycle of life and death. Oh my god. She said the word. <laughs> okay, so she's just really sad and kind of going insane. Oh, her and Red Girl. Oh? Uh? In the endless nothingness, he is gone. She wanders eternity alone. Inside the broken quantum, quantum server, she thinks only of him. I want the order. No matter what she does or thinks, nothing can ease her loneliness. Where's a cord? <laughs> Where's best girl? You've been so lonely. Thanks for pointing it out, Theo. <laughs> oh. When she finally arrives at the Abyss of Despair, a girl clad in red appears before her. Ooh, music. She knows that this girl is humanity's enemy, the machine life form network. But now, she is not her enemy. Not her enemy. I'm so lonely. Slurping her up again. The red girl, too, is another seized by loneliness. And so she attempts to offer her salvation. Oh, 
しかし。But she cannot. The girl's data is damaged beyond the point of repair. 少女のデータはすでに修復が不可能な状態だった。Oh, anyway. Humans have made you suffer as well. And so she burdens herself with the girl's data and emotions and stains herself red. <gasps> the color of hatred. Let's end this together. Oh, and she becomes red. The world freezes as she becomes red. The world freezes white. Had she always been alone, she would never have grieved for the girl in red or the woman with white hair. Had she always been alone. And so she freezes it all. The world and even time itself. Oh, the memories now exist on the moon. So she halted time. In its entirety, humanity's history and bonds exist in another place besides the quantum server. For there's another server that houses humanity's memories the cage. <gasps> I will destroy every last bond. Hello there, are we ready to put our plan in action? Oh, well, there's actually been a bit of trouble. Nothing to worry about, though. We're in the process of checking everyone's pairings with the key. If all goes well, a massive path should open. They were fake! Ah, <sighs> give it your best shot. Not like I'm expecting much. Carrie is always all talk anyway. Um, so what exactly will happen to us once this is all over? Oh, what a question. How about a little gratitude? You were almost out of a job before I came in and gave you something so important to do. We're very grateful to you. Right, so keep at it then. It's all for the sake of the world that's meant to be. So just be careful not to let Mama catch wise. Understood. They were fake, Mama and Papa! And so she sends forth the black birds, uses the brother and sister's conflict to create a path. And that's why they felt bad about it, because they're like still self-conscious, but they do it for her. Indeed, all those trapped within the cage faced hardship from antipathy and loss. And that is why she attempts to sever those bonds. Girl, you're so fucked up. Oh my god. It is her own way of granting salvation. But her attacks unwittingly tighten their bonds. Yeah, there they are. Ah! Feel. She has no choice then but to halt time and seal it all away. Whatever happened to the brother and sister from chapter 2? Oh, they were here earlier. They are in Mama. With the other data. It's just kind of Theo and Levania's time right now. What the? There they are! The little sun and the little moon. Yeah, there's you. What are you doing? I understand your pain and yet... I will not let you stand in my way. She's not listening. Let's take her down. Keep your hands off those two. Let's say Theo and Levania. The source of their strength, the feelings, the truth they found during their journey. And yet... The power of friendship! I carry all your sadness too! Oh. No, 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 no. We're not getting birded. We'll bird you right back. 
Mm. Hey, uh, friendship power. <laughs> oh no, why? Seems I have no choice but to stop you here. Why are we the girl? Miss Hio, Levania, please allow us to handle this. I don't want to beat them up. Stop! We'll save you. We'll get you back home alive. I don't want to play the girl. Stop! Can we go back? Can we turn back? Hey, two, all right. Stand down the moment you feel you're in danger. Okay. Hello. I could say the same thing to you. You need to learn to take better care of yourself. You need to like stretch and hydrate, man. <laughs> it's like you threw up when I wasn't looking. I almost said threw up. <laughs> Coco! <Coco. laughs> Just shut up. Let's focus. Coco! She's dancing around me. Wait! They're not really losing health. And neither are we. Are we, are we taking any damage? Oh shit. Even if we fall here, we have allies. I should shut my mouth. Every everyone just got obliterated. She will recreate the world into into what? One where no one can get hurt. <laughs> you think you're good enough to attain perfection on your own? Yeah, I think if you want a world where no one gets hurt, you need to destroy the world. I once believed that my thoughts, my judgments, were always correct too. We may pass each other by or hurt one another, but there is still meaning in joining hands. Indeed, we will aid Fio and overcome this together. Somehow, surely... Everyone dies and then kind of just comes in. You hear a lot of beeping. She insults her and then just blasts everything. <laughs> oh. You did. You did. We leave this in your hands. Good luck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sarafa, I will protect you this time. We won't let you take anyone else. I will protect my wife. Everyone gets their turn. What about you? I... I won't let her destroy my memories. My family! I think everyone here feels the same way. She experienced loss. She was broken. Such pain must never be felt again. So you want to eradicate humanity, poor girl? Okay, stop her! Run, feel your power! Hmm. She has been stuck for too long. Ouch, okay. She's been stuck for too long. Also, they always experience the sad stuff, never the good stuff. What about that? What's with that? An act of futility. My plans to change this world are coming to fruition. I dare say you changed the world <laughs> the way it looks right now. Maybe, maybe that should be good enough. It's the girl squad. This is a crusade. I have no choice but to cut down those who stand between me and my mission. Mutual destruction is hardly as noble as one might think. Agreed. Fighting always brought me pain. I... all three of us are tools made for war, but... Oh, right! Oh, it's nice that they... Okay, it's actually neat that they are in a team now. What's this journey that taught me the world is beautiful? Oh, That felt a lot like something A2 would say.
I liked that. Sinya will remember that. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey guys, on another note, are you ready for Monday? This is nothing. Do you know what's on Monday? I hope uh, you take care of your Discord notice. This is such a scary place, but I can keep going. I wonder why. Aren't you scared? Aren't you fighting by your prince's orders? It is by my will alone that I follow my prince. Will this desire I have to be with Saryu? Is that taking... Is that making me stronger? Let's go, lesbians! <laughs> it is. People oftentimes find new strength just by being with those they hold dear. She kind of looks like A2. Yeah, she's A2 coded. That sort of fleeting strength will only leave you empty once it's gone. Hi, Piper. What's Monday? I wonder what's on Monday. <laughs> Monday is the funny day. She downgraded us! You must have known how this felt a long time ago, didn't you? Oh, it's Argo! We're here to help. Tina and the idol girl. We're all the same. We all have people dear to us, but I couldn't protect him. And then he hanged my father. <laughs> I too left behind those I was meant to protect when I let go of my duty. I believed I would get home, so I never doubted it for a moment. Exactly. You've all lost people, just like her. Which means... But even if the dark days seem endless, there's always a light at the end. You're not going to fall for that? That's what you say. No, the dark never lifted, and that's why... That's why I want this world too. Man... Theo, Levania, we sent our feelings to you. Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. Okay. Now go! Everyone's feelings changed to light. What are they gonna do with it? Oh shit, it turned around! Let's go! This hardly matches up to the righteousness she carries. I don't think it's about which one is more right. She talking about Kaine? That's right. Your pain, our hope. They're fine left the way they are. The world doesn't have to change. There's no one truth. The court basker is still out there. Looking for branches. Yeah, it can't change. You have to accept it as it is, but still find the strength to stand up and face it. Be quiet. Then, what did she work so hard for? Well... Ah, uh, I like that the remix of the title melody is back. That's so nice. I love when soundtracks use their light mode as well. And the absolute classic is you go to the final boss fight of the game and it's a tile melody. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me for the first time, you will not even... <laughs> you will 
will not even know the intrusive thoughts are strong. That's what you say, until you get gone on April Fool's Day and then it's like, well... I'm just saying, be careful on Monday, guys! Doubt everything, and I mean everything you see online. Everything. Oh, Coco is looking out the window. You're here! Hey, Dante! You've come in for the finale. Okay, okay, okay. Now delete my save file. <laughs> Do we win? Uh, oh, oh, she's angry now. No, she's back in action. I think we made it worse. Now I understand the power of your emotions. But it's not nearly enough to stop her. Uh. What? Due to damage suffered by Mama's arithmetic abilities, auto battle functionality has been lost? <gasps> With the loss of oh, Rion scales, Dimosis, Achaeus, Argos memories have been sealed once more. The couple Slars's Griff's Noah's memories have been sealed once more. Memories of Fina, Priye, Marie, and Udil, Yuzuki, Saryu, Yuri, and Serafa have been sealed once more. Give me my mama back! What the fuck? It's over. Please stop this! Why? The world hated you. You were meant to die alone. Okay, no need to be an asshole about it. <laughs> Mr. Monster and all my friends taught me that I shouldn't give up just because I'm lonely. So I want the chance to teach that to you, too. Then show her what it means to never give up. Oh. oh, don't hurt the child. What the fuck? I made a promise. I promised you that we would play together. I promised you that I would always help you. I promised you that I would be your friend. Mm. Huh? Perhaps the world cannot be changed, but even if it can't, you still kept the world and the cage bound for us time and again. Oh. Oh? Oh, should we installing near reincarnation on our phones? Oh, we do! <laughs> uh, I was joking! <laughs> Through Levania, all your sentiments about the cage have reached us as prayers. Due to this link being established, you can now call characters from your cage to Earth. When placing specified characters in your loadout, their force will be amplified. This is the final battle. Please make use of the characters you've trained to stop her. Please do all you can to stop her. Suggested force 150k? The 
Let's fucking go, your has squad! And zero dragon guard. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Music's banging! Ah, oh, let's go! Let's go! Oh! She's cheating! That's not fair. To be is in the middle. Oh, I wish I had put 10H in the middle, actually. Alright! Auto battle doesn't exist! Oh my god! I'm staring at the, at the screen at night. Something? Something is missing? <laughs> it's no use. Your attacks cannot hurt me. Not yet! No use. That's not for you to decide. Even if our attacks can't scratch you. Even if we don't lay a finger on you. If I have even the slightest possibility of saving her, I will fight. I've been nerfed, yeah, truly this time! Possibility? I see. So there can be more than one answer. You humans always talk about possibilities. Nirvana is not human though. What do you do now, huh? Checkmate. Possibilities for people, for the world? Shut up. Nothing you say makes any sense. Oh. So this is your... This is my resolve! Get obliterated! That's right. Our possibility. Let's go! Domo. Finally did blah, 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 we were finally doing damage! <laughs> Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> Dude really thinks she's her. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is the last pet ability I have. I'm I'm just blasting. There we go. Bam. Bop bop. Do you have enough? Do you wanna go another round? Do you have a silly second face? Do I need to switch my characters, maybe? Oh! Why? There's nothing here. I look up. I look down. I turn around. Why? It feels like I'm all alone in deep, deep snow. Oh, this, this feels like... The tree server's way of showing memories in like a text adventure thing. I think it was the girl who turned the world white. Oh. There we go. This is what she wanted. I guess there will be long, lonely days ahead of me. But. Mr. Monster, where are you? I walk through the nothing. Hello? Oh, okay, there we go. Mr. Monster, where are you? I walk and I walk, but I don't see anyone. Mr. Monster is nowhere to be found. But I'll be okay. Even if I'm lonely now, I see him again someday. Oh, 
so long as I hold on to that belief, I never truly be alone. So wherever you are, wait for me, Mr. Monster. Mr. Monster, I miss you. Oops. Mr. Monster? I... I walk and I walk and I walk And I think a very long time passes I don't know anymore I don't know why I'm walking anymore But I have to keep going Because I want to see him Who? I can't remember. But I know I want to see him. I know I'm going to see him again. It's kind of like what happened to Levania, isn't it? I see a light. A small dark light in this bright white world. It has a dark body like armor. And funny bug like wings. A strange monster appears before me. I'm not sure why, but I'm not afraid. But for some reason, I start crying. Man. Who are you? Mr. Monster? The monster's head drops. There's something sad about his gesture. He then extends a hand to me. <gasps> oh, this voice is normal! I'm Levania, but Mr. Monster is fine. Travel with me. Let's make memories together. Oh, he's doing what she did for him. Side by side, we walk. There's nothing in this world, but I have Mr. Monster with me. That alone lets me keep journeying far and wide. Mr. Monster tells me the stories of all kinds of people I know nothing about. He tells me about... Brave Traveler and his trusty companion. A hard-working hunter who loves her sister. A swordsmaster who is powerful, beautiful and kind. An awkward man who loves mountains. A husband and wife who love each other dearly. Soldiers who look after one another. A girl who travels the world for someone important to her. Mages who grew up together. Two AIs who strive to fulfill their reason for existence. A thief and a fortune teller who share tender moments. A brother and sister who work tirelessly for their family. Mr. Monster told me so much. He told me about everyone. That's right. That's right. I remember now. I remember how I wanted to keep the memories of all my friends safe. Even if they're sad, painful, or lonely memories, we all have things we never want to forget.
There's a light. A white light spreads before me. I can't stay here. I run. I pull Mr. Monster by the hand as I run towards the light. I run and I run until I come to... The place where all my friends are. My friends who walk with me. Oh, my eyes! Yeah, the clock there is the German clock. It's my time. <laughs> She's back! Get her back! Oh, you don't look so good. Yes, keep going! We can do it, everyone! Cheering! Play again someday, right? Why? Why won't her power work? Because there's something we must protect. <gasps> her actually looks like... Oh, the Watchers. If I escape to another branch, maybe I have another chance. No, 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 you stay here. Stay right here. Mama, I need a favor. Whoa, uh, Earth is fucking dead. <laughs> oh, no way. Real now? This isn't like between the data and the real world anymore, right? I think she's sad all by herself. I know she'll be less lonely if she has someone with her. If it's just you, I think I can make it happen. But are you sure? What about Mr. Monster? I... I keep watch over you from here. Call for me if anything happens, so... Yeah. Are you absolutely sure about this? Why not consider other options? Because... Because the two of you might be alone in this world. Are you okay with that? Mm -hmm. It's okay, right, Mr. Monster? Ah. Yeah, you've made your choice, and I won't let anyone stop you. Very well. <laughs> then this is goodbye. Be well. 
Okay. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mr. Monster. Thank you. Now we can finally move on. What in the world happened? After defeating her, you all fell asleep. I got to work fixing up the cage. So we can walk our path again? This will all make for a good story. I hope Theo's doing well. I didn't mind my time with you. So we can finally return to our world? Indeed. Are you ready, Priye? I have Saryu. I'll be okay. So they... They return to the data worlds that have been saved on the like on the moon server and Theo actually reincarnated. Oh my, are you all alone again? The captain went off somewhere. Go, Mama, go! <laughs> oh, I love how she's just flying along. I want to know. What will happen after we go home? Stop, dear. That's a good question, though. We must decide how to live on our own. It delights me to hear you say that. Do you think we'll be able to work together? I understand now that I cannot be perfect alone. <gasps> ah! Everyone that's, that calls for a stretch and a hydrate. Haha, I'm back on my game. And hydrate. I will never give up on changing my nation. I see that you do, for the future's sake. I wish to remain ever by your side, my prince. Yeah, everyone! Hydrate! Hydrate! Right now! This is a story I'll tell across the land. <laughs> do you not think it's too tall a tale? Is it a sad or a happy ending? I would say this is a rather happy ending. Especially for near. <laughs> if we return to the battlefield, do you think we'll... If we do, then we'll just have to accept it. What are the vi white orbs? Oh, it's the data. Returning to their worlds. The never-ending spiral of stretch and hydrate. <laughs> Aw, them. I'm sorry, but you two... 
It's alright, we know. Hmm? This is the path we chose for ourselves, after all. Oh, can they not go back because they don't remember? <gasps> oh, finally made it! Friend! 10H? Oh, I'm so relieved! Yuzuki, Hina? So you're safe, huh? You remember what you told me back then? Yep, we got a lot of hanging out to do. Oh my god, he's back! Oh, oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy she's back! Another mama? Everyone's stories are finally fixed up. The weapon stories and Mama's memories. They need to get them. They were always with me. Oh. Whoa? A book? It might take a while, but I'll make sure they get there. Because they're precious records I want to protect. Get where? What? Huh? Huh? Wait. Are you going to disappear too? Oh, uh, The version of the main theme. I think you'll be fine. Also... I'll be watching you from afar. Huh? Huh? I need answers! Where? What? <sighs> Prayer sin- Aww. Thank you for praying. All prayers lead to the cage. <sighs> Some near fan that's way crazier than me will pull out the Twitter theory thread and explain where Mama is bringing that book. Now delete your safe file. Let's go! I look away for a moment and everyone grew so much. And this is for you. Mama! You have watched over all of us mamas and everyone here in the cage. And for that I am truly grateful. Thank you so, so much. Oh, I'd do it anytime, Mama. Now delete my save. <laughs> oh. Until we meet again. And that's it. That was... Near reincarnation. We did it, everyone. That was the end of the story, and the game is gonna shut down in a month, so we have successfully fulfilled our mission of recording the history of this game. <laughs> You've you did it, Sin, you actually beat you've actually beaten a gotcha game. <laughs> yeah, who can say that of themselves, right? I have beaten a gotcha game. Oh. Uh, oh my god. Oh, uh, I'm feeling many things. I'm still going insane. <laughs> that was so pretty. It was very... I don't know how to ex like describe it or explain it. it. It's very much a continuation and, and it explains a lot of stuff. And it's kind of a closure of 
the stuff that came before it. So it's like, I don't know. I'm like between, wow, that was neat. And wow, I want to fucking cry because it's like, it feels like a conclusion. It almost feels like a conclusion to this series with everything that they drop. I mean, they kind of leave stuff open with Mama, for example, there. Like, where is she putting that book into? Uh, does it have anything to do with a chord? Like, why is she looking for a timeline that doesn't get destroyed? Why is she recording timelines? Was that all part of it kind of thing? Like, there's still more mysteries, right? But it feels like the timeline we have followed for so many games has kind of found its ending point here. And at the end, also seeing like the machine life forms and the Yorha units that lie around actually stand up again and the world continuing. That's uh, that's so crazy. That's, uh, that's actually crazy to me. <laughs> First time seeing a gacha game with an ending? Yeah, yeah. Maybe if you play chapter 3 again, you will not unlock another ending. Nah, I think that is the one and uh, true ending. Hmm. Mm, I'm feeling many things. And the two girls wandering the world. Yeah. World got obliterated. And it's the girls that survive. <laughs> we had Theo reincarnated. It was reincarnation indeed. And Theo was the one that got reincarnated with everyone's prayers and, and mama's power. So then I wonder what happens from here. They could, like they could as well, like I don't know how much it plays into it, but they're not starting a loop again, right? I feel like they, they probably broke the looping timeline with that, so then from here on out it's like anything could happen again, right? You could now make a game that plays like 2000 years later and start something entirely, entirely new because that what happened from where the where her and Theo left off, right? The possibilities are kind of endless. But it's also it's like concluded, but the world isn't over, so it could go anywhere if you decided to continue the world, kinda. And um, I'm surprised at how much impact this like gacha game story actually had in the end. Like this is actually like it's in the timeline. It it's there. It like this matters. It wasn't not just. Ah, silly, silly game. Gonna disappear. <laughs> uh, a serious conclusion that will soon be eternally inaccessible. And you know what? That's the most near thing that could happen ever, to be honest. That's like the biggest near move you could do in, in like near. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of on point. Here's the conclusion to our series. Also, we're gonna delete it in a month. <laughs> See, that's, they're not gonna delete the save file. Well, they are deleting the save file. They're just gonna erase the entire fucking world. They said, we, we don't only take your save file this time. We just delete the game. <laughs> they took it to the next stage. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. I was looking up if I could uh, see people talk about reincarnation. Also, I typed nor reincarnation. Maybe that's why I can't find anything. I'm an idiot. <laughs> they actually have a spoiler tag. But I don't know if I can find it right now. Hmm. But yeah, there will probably be more people like theorizing about stuff coming together. So yeah. <laughs> ah. From here on out, I would say um, this could very well be the end of Nier and we just never see a Nier game ever again. And that's it. Or in five years, Yukotaro comes on screen, rolls across the floor and says... The next near! Wow! <laughs> there really isn't much on YouTube. Yeah, people ignored this game for the longest time. Yes. Be people just ignored this game. Um, 
it was kind of just the hardcore fans that looked into it further because honestly as a game with like gameplay it's not really engaging there's not much game to the game let's be honest it's not it's not much of a game it's it's really just you want lore well get through it <laughs> kind of thing uh, but yeah I, I really wanted to I really wanted to preserve that just because I wanted to do that. <laughs> this was very much uh, I'm doing it for myself playthrough and well for the people who do care. The story is good though. Yeah, it is. It is. I really enjoyed. I enjoyed reincarnation a lot more than I thought I would. And I'm surprised that they actually had the balls to go through with it and make this like important to the lore. Because they could have also just made it a silly side story and left it at that. But no. They went ahead. They even... They just put Kaina straight into that and connected it to Near Replicant like it was fucking nothing. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind Yukotara finding another entire category of brain rot to share and focus on for the next decade and a half. Yeah, I mean, he might as well move on to something entirely new, right? He could. I hope it's not a gacha game then, though. No. I'm kind of... Yukotaro, please... No more gacha games. <laughs> Please do another game now. Please do another game now. That's not gacha game and not voice of cards. Oh, well, you know what? Do what you want, man. You have done enough for the world, I feel like. <laughs> you have given the world more than they could ask of you. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride. Uh, and enjoyed me going absolutely insane and losing my mind. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, that was near reincarnation. If you got interested in the series by this, uh, I highly recommend checking it out. It's worth it. If you were a fan before, uh, I hope you enjoyed the wild fucking ride. And I hope I could you know, provide some insight with my lore bible talk. <laughs> uh, I swear I thought I, I thought Sin was crying. I almost cried earlier. I almost cried. I, I, I actually cried when Mama started being sad. But then I, I, I quickly, I'm like, okay, stop. <laughs> I quickly stopped myself. Uh, Watch the ending again. Does it lead directly into auto- Automata? This one? Near Reincarnation plays after Automata. Um, the special ending from Replicant, that should lead into Automata. So the thing that we saw recapped in here with Kaina, yes. It was very, very interesting. I only played Automata though, who I highly recommend Replicant then. I think you will enjoy it. And it adds a lot of flavor to Automata, if you know Replicant. But yeah, um... Anniversary merchandise is still available until next month, and then it will pull a near reincarnation and get obliterated from existence. So if you want to get some anniversary bar-themed sick-looking merch with Mr. Lime's art, you can do so right now, and the link is down in the description. Um, if you want to support the stream, you can leave a like or not, because I'm not your boss, I'm just saying. And... I don't know. Don't get eaten by a fake mama tonight, I guess. Have a good morning, day or night, wherever you are, guys. And uh, we will see each other again on Meow Day, most likely. So until then, have a wonderful weekend. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Don't be like me and forget. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye! Wow!